Well, with me right now is Dan Perdale. He is the Assistant Dean of Saddleback College Emeritus Program, yeah. among other things. Among other right? things, sure. Nice to see you Good today. to be back, thank you. Yeah, and uh, it's been a little while since you've been on, and it's uh, really nice that uh, pretty soon, I think uh, next week, we're gonna start to get some of the emeritus folks in that Absolutely. are the great faculty that are in this community and beyond. Yeah. And uh, I've been working with, uh, with Bart, what's his last name? I'm Mick sorry. Henry. Mick Henry. Right. And to tell you how many people they got, I, I go, yeah, we can get one on for mm -hmm. this, with, this month, and he's already given me three, because right. there's so many great instructors. I mean, really, it is, it's incredible. Yeah, as we've talked about, the faculty really do enjoy teaching for the pure joy of the student and faculty mm -hmm. interaction. There's so much learning that happens in the classroom, and students are be, build those personal relationships with they the do. faculty, yeah. and vice versa. And so, unlike the traditional classroom where you may have a faculty member a couple times, mm -hmm. we have students who have been taking classes 10 or 15 or 20 or beyond years, and so the relationship is, is really wonderful between those faculty. It is. Now, how do you come up with um, new new classes sure. each year? And I'm not talking about some of the ongoing ones, maybe ones you haven't done for a couple years, mm -hmm. but thinking to yourself, you know, there's different trends, even among seniors. Right. And of course, emeritus is any adult over uh, 18, mm -hmm. right? Correct. But as it pertains to this community, there's trends within the senior community too. Absolutely, so one of the courses that we just started again this, uh, this fall was a new technology course mm -hmm. called Life and, Life and Technology Integration for the Older Adult. Ah, very good. It focuses not only on current technologies in your everyday laptop or desktop, yeah. but it also focuses on emerging technologies. It seems like technology is moving at such a breakneck speed that we wanna be able to prepare people to integrate it more into their life. One of the things that um, students can expect here within the next few months is actually an emailed survey to go out asking, uh, asking students, what are the classes that you hope to see over the right. next three to five years? Yeah. Uh, we want to stay current and relevant. We do have all those bedrock classes that won't change mm -hmm. in art and, yeah. and, and languages and those kinds of things. But we want to make sure that we remain current and, and uh, active with those trends. Yeah. And it's always changing. As mm -hmm. you said, there's the, the bedrock ones, sure. which don't change. But emerging technology, I mean, even you talk about art. Well, uh, 10 years ago, people weren't using tablets to right. create art. Exactly. Now, I believe we, we've had instructors on mm -hmm. that came on with their tablets and doing stuff. Right. So there's emerging technology right there because people are not used to doing something that certain way. Exactly. And they find out, wow, this is fun, this is great. and and that's just a, a small part of it. Yeah, we have a faculty member who started with us this past summer and she does almost uh, exclusively digital art. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something that we have curriculum for yet, but she's really interested in developing that. So as we move forward, there's a lot of opportunities for people to expand their own skills and to think creatively about, yeah. uh, about different ways to express that creativity. Yeah, and on the, on the screen here, we have basically your, your four hallmarks sure. of what Emeritus is all about. And I, I think what, you know, I look at all of that, I'm mm -hmm. trying to pick out one that really stands out, but what stands out for me is mentally stimulating yeah. above any, everything else. Right. You and I have talked about this before, how yeah. keeping your, your mind active later in life when it comes to um, well, keeping your brain healthy, right. it's been proven time and time and time again, this is one of the main things that you can do. Absolutely. We know that each one of these four are essential to every class. Um, what's really neat about this coming spring term is that we've actually built a partnership with Orange County Alzheimer's Very good. Um, to yeah. have them develop, um, work with us in developing a brain health mm -hmm. class. Uh, so we'll be offering that actually here in the village in Clubhouse 5 in the springtime. That'll be nice. So yeah. um, it is one of our first courses that is specifically focusing on that mental stimulation, mm -hmm. um, not just for those who are you know, afraid of Alzheimer's or those kinds of things, but really on the front yeah. end of prevention and making sure that um, your mind stays physically fit. Yeah, and of course, another one of those is socially engaging. Absolutely. And for this community, I think people in general, Coming together within a class 
and being a part of something and you learn from each other, right. not only the instructor. Mm -hmm. I, how many times has uh, I've interviewed one of your instructors and they turn around and go, well, I've learned more from my Isn't students than the students have learned from it. me. Absolutely. That, that's a common thing. We've, we've asked students, what is the best part of Emeritus? Mm -hmm. and Obviously, the classes, obviously, the health that they right. receive from those courses. But really, also, many individuals have said, I lost my spouse, or I mm -hmm. moved and I left friends in a different state. And because of the program, I've built new friendships. I have a reason to get out of the house. Right. I have people expecting to see me. And that positive peer pressure, if you will, yeah. of, oh, people want to see me, people want to learn alongside of me, is one of the reasons people keep going to class. Yeah, and the amount of classes that mm -hmm. are available and all the different things, I mean, you can learn, obviously we talked about art and, uh, and music in some ways, there's history yeah. and uh, just uh, engagement in talking about uh, literature. Right. And, I mean, it goes on and on and on. Yeah. And from what a lot of the instructors have told me, who have taught at, at other levels, meaning mm -hmm. they were either at the college level or maybe uh, down in the high school level. Sure. You know, these folks want to be here. It's not like, well, I've got to take this literature class so right. I can get my degree. Yeah, you mentioned it's a, a whole literature different class. Thing. And we, just, we actually did just start offering a new literature course mm -hmm. uh, within Emeritus. It's actually in Clubhouse 3 uh, right now um, in the rehearsal rooms on Monday evenings. Um, but we wrote it a little differently. It's called Literature and Life. And the oh, principal okay. component of it is, yes, it is still a literature overview, mm -hmm. but we really wanted to write it so that individuals could focus and reflect on their own lived experiences okay. and how that connects with the literature. We find that that reflection and engagement with the content makes the course um, even deeper. Yeah, and I know, um, I can't think of the gentleman's name, but he teaches philosophy, sure. but the way he teaches it uh, and we've talked about this before, and I found it really fascinating because mm -hmm. I, I go, what are you talking about, the old philosophers? And he goes, well, yeah, but you know what? Our contemporary philosophers right. and people, um, as, as we mentioned, someone like Steve Jobs sure. had his own way of thinking and yeah. all yeah. these entrepreneurs who have this philosophy. Right. Nowadays, people think, well, no, that philosophers were hundreds of years ago. No, they're sure. right now. We have a lot yeah. of, yeah, exactly. You know, they're philosophers of their time and philosophers yeah. of our time are mm -hmm. shaping our culture, shaping the ways we think. Steve Jobs, as an example, yeah. pushing us beyond limits that we didn't realize we had right. to be able to focus on where can we go in the future. Um, so yeah. philosophy in general, Jerry Binder, I think, is who you might be talking yes, about. Yeah. Um, and Dr. Binder is one of our, our longtime and most popular yeah. faculty members. Yeah, yeah. A great people that yeah. I've met. I'm going to be meeting more uh, coming up in the, in the coming weeks. Spring. Sure. When does that start as far as signups go? So registration for current students starts November 16th. Okay. So just about two weeks from now. Okay. Um, after the 21st, any new student then can start registering. Okay. We will again have in-person registration here at the community center. Mm -hmm. We're also, already, uh, also offering it at the Norman Murray Center. Oh, very and good. And then also we have a new location uh, in general for Emeritus, but also for in-person registration up at the Lake Forest City Hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. And that is, is that up in Foothill Ranch? Uh, close to, to it. Okay, yeah. close to it. Yes. Right. I, I, I'm sure I pass by it all the time, but I always forget exactly where it's at. And I, and I yeah. do want to mention uh, our, one of our hallmark classes for the spring term is coming back, which is our Dorothy Marie Lowry Distinguished Guest Lecture Series. Oh, great. Uh, so again, last year we had uh, 15 um, guest lecturers come in, um, and this year we'll have the same. We had about 700 people register wow. for that class last year. Really? Um, it's here in wow. the Performing Arts Center, and uh, so That's we welcome incredible. everyone to come back. It's a great way to be introduced to Emeritus. Yeah, very good. Always good to see you. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate it. Yeah, time. hope we see you again soon. Right, absolutely. And as I said, we're going to start getting some of the instructors in. To find out more about it, go uh, saddleback.com forward slash emeritus, and you can get all the information. Again, springtime is coming around, so uh, you need to sign up for your classes. And you can see that the hardest part is figuring it out because there's so many different ones. I mean, trying to find your time to do them all. But great variety. There's some great ones. That yeah. lecture series is great. Just start with that and uh, do an art class. You gotta do an art class, there you go. right? All right, good all to right, see take you. Care. Take care. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back.